All right, welcome back to another lesson. We're going to use angles in a different method today. We're going to actually look at how they affect different shapes, and we're going to start that in this lesson. So before we do that, let's just have a little quick question here. And without using a protractor, what is this measure of angle A? And how do you know? So angle A is this guy here. We know that this side's 115, but what is the other side? Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you that the sum of the interior angles, or the inside angles of a triangle, are the same for any triangle. And so I have this triangle here, and I, and I did some colored circles to show um, which angle is which. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull some out. I'm going to pull two angles out. And, and these are equal angles, okay, or congruent as we say. I'm going to flip this one around, and I'm going to move it right about there. I'm gonna take this guy, I'm gonna move him right in here. And what you might notice is that the three angles on the bottom form a straight line, okay? Straight line, and we know that a straight line equals 180 degrees, that's a straight angle. But you notice that all three are different colors. And I'm, what I'm talking about is these three here, okay? And because all three are different colors, all three of these must equal together. If I add up, you know, with a protractor and I add up the, the degrees, it equals 180 degrees. And I'm using, I just, you just saw me, I use three equal triangles, okay? So when, I, when I'm saying that, I'm saying red plus blue plus yellow must equal 180 degrees. And so if you don't quite understand that's okay, but just know that it is a fact. Okay, fact that all angles in a triangle equal 180 degrees in, in the inside. And that's kind of cool. And I'm saying every single triangle made by mankind from the beginning of dawn of history to the end of history or in the future, whatever, all triangles will equal 180 degrees. And what's even more bizarre or mind blowing to me is someone spent a lot of time figuring that out. And that is mind blowing in itself. But anyways, just know that all angles, if I add them all up, they will equal 180 degrees. So let's just do an example here. And I have this triangle, which I'm gonna call the triangle ABC. And I have identified that two angles, angle A is 30 degrees and angle B is 45 degrees. And we're gonna try and figure out what is angle C. And we just learned that the, that the sum of all the angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. So in a sense, angle A, angle B, and angle C is 180 degrees. And by the way, this is how we write angle A. We write kind of a weird looking L to indicate it's an angle and we, and we have to name it. And so we know that this one is A because here's the A. And this is the line segment AB. Well, once it gets over there, okay. This is angle B and this is angle C, which we do not know at this moment. So, since angle A is 30 and angle B is 45, that means 30 degrees plus 45 degrees plus angle C has to equal 180 degrees. Well, where, where do we go from here? Well, we, we can add up the 30 and the 45, which is 75 degrees. So we know so far that angle A and B equals 75. So what we have to do is know that we got to find out the remaining part and so what we have to do is subtract 180 minus 75 is 105 degrees i know that angle c is 105 degrees let's do another example here this time i have c with 32 degrees i have a, a rec or a square sorry as uh, angle a and i don't have anything for b uh, i might have mentioned this in a previous lesson but when you see this square that is the uh, the illustrator is indicating to us that we need to know that is a 90 degree angle or a right angle okay well now that we know that now that I've recognized that's 90 degrees I can now add the 32 okay degrees and I get hundred and twenty two degrees so now that I have that information I should be able to find out B because remember all angles in a triangle equal 180 degrees. So I'm going to take 180, subtract what I know, which is 122, 
and that should tell me angle B. So I can't do zero minus two, so I'm gonna borrow seven. 10 minus two is eight, seven minus two is five, and one minus one is zero. So that means angle B is 58 degrees. And I would write that angle B equals 58 degrees. And this is something you will do to grade 12. So make sure you write that symbol there with the letter that you've been given equals and make sure you have that degree sign okay i'm gonna get you to try this one okay you try it and then we'll go over it okay so we are trying to find angle a okay i know that angle b is 117 i know that angle c is 31 so i'm going to add these together 7 plus 1 is 8, 1 plus 3 is 4, and we have 148, okay? So I have to take my fact that I know all angles in a triangle equal 180 degrees. I'm going to subtract 148 degrees, and that should tell me angle A. Well, again, I can't do 0 minus 8, so I'm going to borrow. And, I, and you're going to be doing that a lot because it's always 180, so the first one, just know you're probably going to be borrowing. So 10 minus 8 is 2, 7 minus 4 is 3. That means that angle A is 32 degrees, and I would write angle A equals 32 degrees. In life, math happens because someone figured out that all angles in a triangle equals 180 degrees, which is just, again, mind-blowing. Take care, guys.